good day guys you're welcome to my channel once again i'm joshua the designer i could amazing content on structural engineering and how that you need to get better um today i'll be showing you something so simple but i have discovered that many get it all wrong when you begin to model and it is the concept of your primary and secondary beam placement and i'll be showing you that very quickly on this job okay so do well to like and use the subscribe button and also share with your friends and your colleagues that should get better with structural engineering okay so the reason why i need to show you about the primary and secondary beam placement is because they are in case of um a situation where you are supporting certain beams with another beam you should understand the concept of how you're going to place them so that the modeling will be receiving your mind as to which beam supports another and you wouldn't be doing it the other way around yes because many times um, you might be using a beam suppose a simply supported beam to support another beam and that definitely warrants that one beam comes before another so that your model will be able to receive your intentions accurately okay but i'll show you in a very simple step so that um you get what i'm saying and you can apply that with your designs on respective projects okay so i have my beam because i'm working on a ground level story oh, oh my own job now it's supposed to be a raft beam so i'm preparing for a beam and slab raft okay so and i want to use a height of one five and a width of two to five okay so i'll apply this to my designs well i would like you to really pay attention so that you follow me and i'll show you where these apply in my own job so that you can have also see the application okay so i have a beam here i have another one here okay and like this you can see that these beams that i'm drawing currently they are being supported by columns okay so i can't really call this any of these two that i'm saying except i see one that needs to be supported and i go with that okay so wow okay so i think we'll get it just pay attention i'll show you what I need to show you soon. Okay. I think we are there now. Okay. Just hold on. Okay, so on this grid, you see that I am not drawing it as I am seeing it. There is something that I am looking at. I am actually positioning my, my beams in such a way that it will make my analysis respond to what i am doing to my intentions rather okay so please you hold on i'll show you the concept very soon so i'm going to show you how you begin to do yours too and you make it respond to your intention so using your software doesn't mean that when you want to place your beams you just place it as you think or as you feel you know though it is a software that whether you do it correctly or not is still going to respond and give you certain results but the results you are going to get is dependent on how you analyze your structure or how you do it correctly or not so you are the engineer like i said in my videos you are the structural engineers um structural engineer and whatever it is that you tell your software is what it would do to you okay so now i have this arrangement and i have a beam coming from from this end down to this place now because i'm having this beam coming here that was why i had to draw beam two this this long beam i had to draw this beam first because there is another beam that needs to be supported by that same beam you see so if i had drawn this little beam at first i'll be making a blunder because 
this continuous beam is meant to support this one so one needs to come before another so i think i have done that correctly in that aspect of my drawing so i'll show you many more and um, where they apply really okay so i have another beam from here down to this place very correct so and i have another beam also coming from this place to this place did you see so that is why that was why i had to i had to do that this place to this place so i had to first i had to first draw this beam then draw this one before i placed this one because these two beams will be the one supporting this one the simple i'm making it simply supported now so it demands that i first draw the supporting beams before i have to draw the one that is being supported i believe that you you, you got that right okay so i have another from here i'll do all this i'll do all that i need to do on this project so that you have as much examples as possible to get what i'm trying to pass to you yes because you can actually model and get results but modeling the right way matter okay you see this one i just drew now it is being supported by a column and then another beam so that was why i needed to draw this beam first before this column and before this beam so this is the supporting beam while this is the beam that is being supported so if you had drawn this one first and putting this one next that would be an error but though your software might not really complain but it will still give you a result but that is not the proper way that you ought to have done it now this one that i am fixing now it's a continuous beam right from here but when it comes here it is being supported by this beam and that was why i had to draw this beam first before i drew this so you get that okay and i have another another beam here so you need to pay attention to this concept so that your intentions will be interpreted correctly by your software okay so i have another one from here down to this place did you see now so this previous one i drew is the second is the primary beam now primary beam and this one is the secondary beam because this is the one supporting this one so this is the primary beam and this is the secondary beam okay so and another one i have another one coming from here okay i have one coming from here down to this place okay i'll show you something interesting here i'll show you something interesting here now this beam that i called a secondary beam to this primary beam is now acting as a primary beam to this beam which is now secondary because this beam is now the one supporting this one coming from this place now so this one becomes a primary beam while this one is a secondary beam so my placement already tells the software that this is my intention now look at something interesting again i have this again so for this beam also this one becomes a primary beam to this one that i've just drawn because it is the one supporting this one now yes i really hope you, you, you get me okay so that's cool then i have something also another beam from here to here so that means this one this small span of this continuous beam is the primary beam to this one that i just drew which is the secondary beam so I, I really hope you are getting you are getting the, the, the gist now. So we have another one which is from here to here. Now, so this one I just drew now is going to be a secondary beam, and this is going to be the primary beam because this is the span supporting this one and not this one first. Before this one. when you do this one first, it splits your span, it splits your beam here, and telling that this this one that supports this one, which is a very wrong way of doing that. Okay, so 
I have few more to go, so then I'll be done with this session. Okay, so I have this, this, because it's a ground B, and that is why I've seen some arrangements like that. So now you discover that I had to do this one first and this one first before I did this because this is acting more like a cantilever here, acting more like a cantilever here, then this one is being supported by the two ends that I drew first. So you need to learn those stuffs too. So from here, down to this place and we have this one. The same thing applies to, to both. So you need to pay attention to that. And um, also, I think, for this particular project, that will be all. So I believe that if you go through this, you should be able to get the concept of the primary and secondary beam so that um, you'll be able to express your intentions accurately to your, with your product structure. Yes, so, and I believe that you've been able to get this. You can drop your comment, use the like button and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much.